नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल कंटिन्यूंग अवर डिस्कशन ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लकी कलर्स एंड जेम स्टोन फॉर ऑल द राइजिंग साइंस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन दी पाइसिस राइजिंग नेटिव सो नाउ गाइज स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट विद द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ दिस लगना सो डेफिनेटली जस्ट बिकॉज इन योर केस योर असेंडेंट इज रूल्ड बाय द मोस्ट बेनिफिट प्लान जुपिटर एंड ऑल्सो गाइज लाइक जुपिटर हैज गॉट द रूलरशिप ओवर टू साइंस सेजिटेरियस एंड पाइसिस सेजिटेरियस स्टिल कैरी द क्वालिटीज ऑफ द फायर along with that with the sagittarian natives there is a lot of the protocol right and wrong religious doctrines which governs their life which governs their behavior but when we talk about the pisces lagna people definitely you will find these people very virtuous very forgiving very compassionate and demonstrating all the benefic and positive qualities of the planet jupiter now whether you talk about their conduct uh, towards the elderly people or towards the younger ones how to be respectful how to conduct with the best of their capabilities so all these are the qualities which you will find naturally in the personality of the pisces lagna natives like you will very rarely find a pisces lagna person to be very violent to be very abusive or to be demonstrating any of the unethical qualities now definitely for that we have to take into consideration where all the planets are placed but just stand alone looking at the empty chart of the pisces lagna person all these things can be said with complete confidence now guys uh, when we talk about the flaw side or the negative attributes connected with this lagna so a lot many times it has been seen that they could be little bit a uh, careless towards their uh, duties or they could be kind of uh, shying away from the hardship from the hard work in the life and a lot many times it has been seen that they come across as very trustable very kind of gullible and a lot many times because of their this easy going nature a lot many times their own friends only end up taking advantage of their good nature because guys very soon you will get to know that once we will look at the house of the friendship and networking in both of these two houses like we generally give attention to the third house and the 11th house and you can freely see in their case saturn is not a very auspicious planet for them saturn has got the rulership of the 11th house and the 12th house so saturnian energy and governance stays in the 11th house and also when we look at the third house so venus is not a very auspicious planet for you venus has also got the rulership of your 8th house and the third house so a lot many times it has been seen that at some stage of their life they get very uh, severely deceived by any of the close person known to them so because of that being a pisces lagna person you have to remain very cautious with whom all you have to share your secrets and generally they are like a very uh, much spiritually oriented because the way you can see the planets are placed like uh, you will find the moon energy in their fifth house that in itself can make them very artistic very imaginative and also very good in their academics in their studies as well like generally uh, they tend to remain very much devoted to their family to their uh, parents as well and just because guys if you will see uh, that in their case uh, mars has got the rulership of their uh, ninth house and the second house so father plays a very pivotal role in shaping up the values morals of the life of the pisces lagna natives so yes guys these are some of the positive and negative attributes which can be connected with the pisces lagna person now talking about which all planets are auspicious or favorable for you so definitely jupiter becomes your ascendant lord so because of which uh, whether we talk about a uh, yellow color or uh, wearing a yellow sapphire that proves to be very favorable very auspicious for the pisces lagna natives because guys in your case not only jupiter has got the rulership over your first house but it has also got the rulership over your 10th house as well so definitely wearing a yellow sapphire and a strong dignity of jupiter in your case will not only protect your public image will not only protect the concerns of your health but also it can give you good rise in your career as well 
After that, guys, definitely Mars becomes a very auspicious planet for you. Mars is chiefly responsible for the divine protection in your case and also all aspect of your finances. Like generally, it has been seen that I do not find Pisces Lagna natives to be struggling in the matters of their finances. Like rather, you would not believe that even if a Pisces Lagna prominent person will get married to a family where the family is already going through a lot of property or paternal property related dispute. But just because the stars of the Pisces Lagna person is going to be so favorable and auspicious, that thing can be resolved very amicably, very friendly as well. So yes, guys, um, Mars uh, becomes a very auspicious planet for you. So because of which uh, red color is auspicious for you, you can also consider wearing a coral as well. Now, guys, uh, after that, definitely moon is a very auspicious planet for you. So moon has got the rulership over your uh, fifth house. So because of which a uh, pearl, wearing a pearl proves to be very auspicious, favorable for the Pisces Lagna natives. It actually gave rise to positive thought and a very balanced state in your subconsciousness, in your thought process. And if you will find the Gaj Kesari Yoga to be taking place in some auspicious houses for a Pisces Lagna person, that can be seen as one of the best Raj Yoga for any Lagna. After that, guys, um, and also like orange color, light pink color, green color also proved to be very favorable for the Pisces Lagna natives. After that, guys, um, I would say that um, Sun plays a very neutral role in your case because although Sun has got the rulership of your sixth house, luminaries do not get the dosha of the uh, rulership of the Dushtana Bhava. And because uh, Sun is also a very good friend with your ascendant Lord Jupiter as well. So because of which uh, Sun kind of plays a very neutral role, but still I will not recommend wearing a ruby gemstone without getting your chart scrutinized from a expert astrologer. After that guys, the planet which is um, favorable for you is the Ketu. So if you will find Ketu to be placed in some auspicious houses, like uh, if you will find Ketu to be placed in the 10th house, uh, 9th house, 11th house, even in the Lagna can prove to be a very good Raj Yoga Karaka. Specifically, when we talk about intuition uh, guiding you or um, prospects of name, fame, recognition, uh, popularity. So all that can be granted with a, a via a very well placed Ketu in the chart of a Pisces Lagna native. Now, guys, uh, after that, which all planets are not favorable for you? So uh, before that, uh, Mercury also plays a very neutral role in your case uh, because uh, Mercury has got the rulership of your 4th house and the 7th house. So in certain cases, I have generally seen that uh, wearing a green emerald proved to be very favorable in the matters of your commercial gains or business related dealings, like which becomes very important for the politicians and all of that the public image or how the masses or the world perceive you. So I would say that a uh, green emerald can still be considered, although uh, Mercury is not very friendly with your ascendant lot, but still after that, in certain cases, green emerald can still be considered. Now guys, uh, when we talk about the planets which are not favorable for you, so the planet number one is Venus, because Venus in your case has got the rulership of your third house and your eighth house. So it's not only about that you have to be very cautious, alert around your friends, around your acquaintances, but also females play a very strong role in the life of the Pisces Lagna person. Like your experiences with the female will not be mediocre. It is either going to be, they either going to be very supportive or they might be the chief cause of all the problem trouble in your life. So um, because of that, uh, you have to refrain from the opal or the diamond and the pure white color as well. Although it is not as harmful as the other planet, which we will soon discuss. But yes, uh, if you will find Venus to be conjunct with like, let's say, for example, Saturn in your um, uh, natal chart in some auspicious houses, definitely it is going to bring down the positive attributes of that house. So Venus is not a very auspicious planet for you. After that, guys, uh, Saturn is not an auspicious planet for you. Saturn has got the rulership 
uh, over your uh, 11th house and the 12th house but most importantly uh, the moon trikona sign of saturn falls in your 12th house saturn is also not very friendly with your ascendant lord so because of which you have to strictly refrain from uh, um, black color blue color and also um, in 99 percent of the cases i have not seen a uh, blue sapphire to be manifesting some good results like in certain uh, cases where if saturn is well placed in the chart and native just wants to uh, move or relocate to a foreign land or any of the 12th house related prospects are getting qualified then in those exception cases you have to get your chart scrutinized and there have to be other fulfilling eligibilities but in 99 percent of the cases blue sapphire is a gemstone you have to strictly refrain from so do not consider wearing a blue sapphire and uh, stay away from the black and the blue color after that guys uh, rahu is also not very auspicious planet for you rahu can be responsible for uh, getting deceived through friends becoming a victim of cheating of uh, fraudulent activities so uh, and mental uh, turmoil so i would say that uh, you do not have to consider uh, gomed gemstone which is also uh, called by the name of hazonite and you have to even avoid the smoky colors uh, in your uh, surrounding environment after that guys uh, when we talk about um, which all lagnas are favorable with you so definitely guys uh, cancer lagna people tend to remain very much favorable or their influence tend to remain very favorable all around you like all the water sign lagnas like whether we talk about the cancer we talk about the um, uh, scorpio even in certain cases i have seen that sagittarius lagna also tend to remain very compatible with you after that guys uh, when we talk about which all lagna are not auspicious or favorable to you so i would say that um, specifically aquarius lagna because aquarius is strongly governed and dominated by the combined energy of both saturn and rahu so aquarius lagna is not very auspicious favorable for you after that guys uh, a lot many times it has been seen that because uh, when we talk about the leo lagna natives leo lagna people are very good in governance they are very good in demonstrating strong leadership which many times create a turbulence in the life of the uh, pisces lagna people and there is also this combination of the six eight as well which is taking place so because of which you have to uh, remain very cautious around the um, uh, aquarius lagna natives and the uh, leo lagna natives and guys a lot many times it has been seen that um, these people generally do good or their life starts progressing after the 30 or 32 years of age and um, dasha specifically i have to say although in your case uh, the planets which are favorable to you like mars and moon their dasha tend to remain of a very small span of time but generally in the dasha of their ascendant lord or let's say for example even the mahadasha of your ascendant lord jupiter and within it if the under the of the mercury will come it is going to activate all the angular houses so that can also prove to be very favorable very supporting for the um, pisces lagna people and also guys when we talk about saturn and venus getting activated anytime in your dasha system so they can be responsible for making you prone and vulnerable towards cheating or uh, getting deceived by anyone known to you so in any of the influence of saturn and venus whether in the transit whether in the dasha you have to remain very cautious very careful because guys whenever we uh, narrow down our uh, assessment of the planetary operational time period then if we have to look at it close to a uh, week or month's time then more than the mahadasha antar dasha we narrow it down to the pratyantar dasha so if saturn and venus is active and suddenly a friend of yours is approaching you with any good business proposal so then you have to remain cautious and careful and lastly guys uh, when we talk about um, that uh, which god to worship so definitely it is dependent on your own faith uh, in your own belief but uh, worship of lord vishnu proves to be very very auspicious very favorable for the pisces lagna natives and i would also say that uh, out of all the weekdays 
uh, specifically give attention to your Thursday like if you can uh, wear yellow in your wardrobe if you can have a saffron tilak while getting ready in the morning or taking turmeric in any form like these days I uh, I always ensure if I'm ordering a beverage uh, on Thursday it has to be turmeric latte so adding turmeric in your uh, beverages in your food items and wearing a saffron tilak adding yellow color and if you can listen to the Lord Vishnu's Sahasranam on Thursday or even considering wearing the or like uh, keeping the fast on Ekadashi of every month that will also prove to be very fortune awakening for all the Pisces Lagna natives. So this is something guys which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs for this uh, lucky colors and gemstones for the Pisces Lagna natives. For further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of Vedic astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Dhanavad.